Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. I'm here to recap my first of two NBA games here tonight. I'm watching the Lakers Clippers. Uh, it's a two point game right now, but I want to get the Nuggets recapped in here. The Denver Nuggets beat the Sacramento Kings. 117-96 reaction. The Kings have beaten the first two times they play, but the Nuggets get a dominant win here. Uh, with a big second and third quarters. You know, the Nuggets really took advantage of a big second and third quarters, outscoring them 30, outscoring the Kings 37-20 and then 35-17. 35-17. So the Kings had that big first quarter, 35-20, outscored, outscored them. But then their offense the rest of the game just didn't really flow as smooth. To be honest, they just didn't flow as smoothly um, defensively. And really throughout, really, really throughout the whole game until the fourth quarter when the Nuggets really weren't trying. But at the first quarter, the Kings' offense and defense just kind of got worse throughout the game. And that's Jamal Murray showed up here in a big game tonight. Uh, 32 points, 6 assists, 3 rebounds for Jamal Murray. Uh, 13 and 15 from the floor. And win number 40. The dude just couldn't miss tonight. And they won their 300th game together, uh, Jamal Murray and Mr. Nikola Jokic. And they're the first in the Nuggets history to win 300 plus games together before turning 30. And despite missing Jamal Murray for 15 games this season, they're now 40 and 19, and they're 32 and 13 when he, Jamal Murray plays. And they can win back to back this year. They're on a pace for maybe 60 wins this year. Man, Jamal Murray's always been such a great player. He shot uh, five or six from three tonight. It's great from the field as well. Uh, Jokic had a triple double as well. Uh, he had 14 points, 11 assists, 14 rebounds, uh, 5 of 9 from the floor. A uh, triple double. His last four games since the All Star break, four triple doubles. I mean, Jokic is such a good player. And he doesn't, sometimes he doesn't have to impact the game with his scoring. He can just do it with his passing. He only took 9 shots tonight, it was a plus 37. He can impact the game so many ways without scoring. Uh, Jamal Murray and Jokic, best, one of the best duos in the league. Uh, KCP, 16 points, 6 of 10. He's had a good last two games as KCP. Aaron Gordon, 17 points, 6 assists, 6 rebounds. And he was a plus 40 tonight, 7 of 8 from the field. He's, these last two games, uh, the Warriors and Kings, 7 of 10 and 7 of 8. Dude's been balling. They're 4-0 since the All-Star break, and they know what time it is. They're starting to pick it up since the All-Star break. The Nuggets are starting to take things more serious, starting to pick it up. And being able to turn him to a, into a scoring option is what makes the Nuggets even more difficult because they already have Murray, Jokic, uh, KCP when he's on, uh, Michael Porter Jr., and then you have Aaron Gordon. I mean, it's just tough to beat the Nuggets, especially when you turn Aaron Gordon to a scorer. Porter Jr.'s not 14 points, 5 rebounds, 5 of 11. Uh, Parker, or Peyton Watson off the bench, 6 points, uh, 3 of 6. Christian Brown, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 2 of 8. Reggie Jackson, 5 points, 4 assists. As a team, the Nuggets shot 53% from the floor and 42% from 3. Uh, the Kings didn't really shoot well. 40% from the floor and 34 from 3. They really cooled off after the first quarter. Because they outscored them 35-28, and then their offense. I think the Nuggets defense just locked in after the first quarter. And then their offense really starting to lock in as well. Especially Jamal Murray. For the Kings, um, they were really missing... Uh, I don't think De'Aaron Fox played tonight. So they were really missing their main you know, main scorer. So, Keegan Murray really t really had to turn that main score. 21 points. Uh, 9 of 17. So, he played, he played a pretty good game. And they couldn't complete the regular season sweep over the defending chance, but they won two out of three. And But when Keegan Murray is going early, I don't know why they go away from him. It's kind of confusing. But they were really missing Fox tonight, you could tell. So bonus, 13 points, 7 assists, 10 rebounds, 5 of 14. The Kings just really need to take care of business during their upcoming heavy, home-heavy portion of the schedule to avoid the play-in. Really. So, um, Sabonis can't continue his triple-double streak. 
But he got or but he got his double double. But he can continue his double double streak. Uh, Chris Duarte, 18 points, uh, 7 of 14. Great game from Chris Duarte. Trey Lyles, 8 points. Uh, Malik Monk, 14 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds. 6 of 16. Didn't really shoot well, but he had a lot of points. Uh, Mason Jones off the bench had 4 points, 4 assists. Need some solid minutes, I guess. Uh, here's some Barnes, 7 points, 3 assists, 4 rebounds. Uh, only two of seven tonight, I think, so he didn't really shoot well. There's just nobody really shot well for the Kings outside of K Keegan Murray and um, Chris Duarte. You can tell how much they were missing Fox. Because their offense really didn't flow as smoothly after the first quarter. Because they scored 24 less points in the second, third, and fourth quarters. And the Nuggets offense and defense really locked in after that first quarter. So they improved to 40 and 19. The Kings to 33 and 25. So people just need to calm down. Uh, Nuggets were going kind of up and down throughout the year, but when they're healthy, having Jamal Murray and everybody healthy, they're a tough team to beat. The Kings now 33-25 following this loss. They, they could be in the play-in, but who knows at this point. They just need, need to take care of business at the end of their schedule. The Nuggets beat the Kings here. They trailed 47-32 in this game, actually, by 15. Then ended the first half in a 33-8 run. That's really what did the Kings in, allowing that 33-8 run in the half. But, yeah, that's really all to say here. So, until next time, have a lot. Peace.